What's up, guys? So, my second review of PCT gear is going to be this guy. Um, one of my favorite pieces of gear I bought, which is the Hammock Gear Econ Burrow 20 Degree Down Quilt. And I'm actually getting warm already. So, I'm going to pop this off and we'll get to this piece. Alright, guys. So, piece of gear, like I said, I'm doing is the Hammock Gear. Econ Burrow 20 degree bag. I absolutely love this thing. Um, and correction, it's not a bag, it's a quilt. So, um, and that's the reason I actually love it so much is the fact that it is a quilt. Um, I've always been the mummy bag guy, um, but I, I'm a bigger guy, six foot three, uh, currently about 215. Uh, I got wider shoulders, uh, I got wider hips. Uh, and I got big old size 13 feet. So me in a mummy bag, I'm always really tight and I just, I didn't like it. Um, and I was talking to a friend and he's like, uh, well, why don't you look into a quilt? And I always was thinking quilts are for hammockers, um, not ground dwellers like myself. Um, but it really, uh, it turns out it's the best of every world, um, in my opinion. So did lots of research, um, enlightened equipment, I love their stuff. Um, at the time when I was looking to purchase, I just didn't have the money for it. Um, was looking at um, Feathered Friends, and again, amazing gear. Um, amazing gear, amazing company, uh, but again, didn't have the money for it. So a friend of mine pointed me towards Hammock Gear, um, and that's hammockgear.com. Uh, so guys, I'm going to have a link down here. Check them out. Great gear at reasonable prices. And uh, so I went with what's called their Econ line. Uh, the Econ line, they use duck instead of goose uh, down, which um, the goose will, from what I've read, keep you warmer. Um, but I'm definitely loving this uh, bag I got. So we'll start going over it. And I know I keep calling it a bag. It's a quilt. I'm sorry. Um, so we'll start, actually, surprisingly, and if you guys haven't got the idea yet, I uh, start from the bottom up um, so from the bottom so it's a snap bottom so everything you got four snaps and it snaps about halfway like up to my knee so it's kind of cool so they snap all the way up and it has a drawstring here so you can close the foot box so you actually have something more like an actual bag uh, my only complaint about this bag at all over six months of use so far has been I had one of the uh, snaps the buttons here um, did rip on me um, wasn't really stoked about that um, so I had to replace it uh, which I mean it was a 57 cent replace so not the most horrible thing but it's just something I did have an issue with I'm sure I could have got a hold of hammock gear and they would have been more than fine I'm replacing it fixing it for me with no issue I just didn't feel like taking the time to do that. So, that is the one issue I did have. And it's been the only issue I've had. So, great bag. So, this is the length here of the snapped piece. So, you can see it's about my shoulder width. Um, great, really surprisingly warm bag. Sometimes a little too warm which is the reason I like the quilt, because then I can just kind of roll it off, untuck it a little bit, open the foot box up if my feet are sweating. Amazing. Um, so we're gonna move our way up. As you can see, they have horizontal baffle, um, which I am, I'm tending to like. Um, I've used a couple different bags, and by bags I mean sleeping bags actually this time, um, that have the um, vertical. Um, I personally don't seem to stay as warm, um, as with the horizontal and they're down and what they use in here really fills the horizontal baffles very well and evenly all the way across. So they do have little clips here so if you do need to strap around your uh, sleeping pad they have two of those on each side going all the way up. One about your hip, one about mid chest um, at least on me and this is on a long wide quilt so then you come up to the top they again have 
as you saw guys earlier where I had this around like this so you can snap it in toss it around they have the drawstring right here so you can pull that in nice and tight on those cold nights keep nice and warm the beard does actually help because then I just wear a down quilt uh, down beanie and I'm totally good um, very nice it's long enough where I can even tuck myself into it curl up a little bit and I can pull it over my head if it does get that cold um, on the cold note though I have been down to about 10 degrees in this with nothing but just a light merino wool base layer on and I slept just fine guys um, so their 20 degrees I believe is probably a true 20 degrees um, so and that was probably their comfort limit um, I, I might be a little crazy this winter and go see what the uh, lower limit is of it I don't know yet don't promise anything or hold me to that please um, but yeah again guys hammock gear and this is the econ burrow 20 um, great uh, East Coast company um, seems like the East Coast is really rocking out some gear lately um, good job guys um, and US based so again of course I love supporting any of our US based because that gets more people out on our trails more money back into our trails and it's local people so uh, again guys that's the hammock gear econ 20 which right there guys and again I have uh, descriptions um, and links down in the comment section so i will see you guys later and again thanks for joining my journey all right guys send those questions in um i'd love to get a q a video going really really honestly would um i, just, I actually want to know what more people are thinking about and there's a couple of us that are looking to start trying to help more people out and get more people on the trails and if we can figure out how to do that by even getting these questions answered, doing these little videos, um, we'd love to. So go ahead and send that questions, comments, concerns, whatever you guys got, over to gingerbeard at twocoastoutfitters.com. Um, you can also throw um, up on my Instagram if you guys want. I always try to post pictures up there as much as I can, my hikes, uh, whatever I'm doing. Sometimes it's me just out playing disc golf. Um, and then also, drop uh, questions down in the comments and when I get those built up I'll start getting uh, the Q&A videos out and so again guys thanks for joining me and thanks for joining my journey